Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you two uh, coloring apps uh, in augmented reality. The first one is this one is uh, Artists Color Book Painting by iSolutions. So using this app, uh, by, the, by the way both of them are, are for iOS. Um, so with this app you can actually uh, color uh, a 3D model. As you can see uh, it comes without any color, just the basic uh, uh, kind of a grayish color and then it's up to you to just tap the color and then tap on the area that you want to color. It's kind of segmented into different areas so for example if you just tap the top wing it's also going to color uh, the bottom wing, same goes to the propeller and other parts of the 3D model. You can also color the model in standard mode, uh, 3D mode, not in augmented reality if that's what you want. Uh, as you can see there are four out, four out of six at the top, this means that I need to color all the areas and then it's gonna congratulate me for finishing it and then I can share uh, the image, the final colored uh, 3D model uh, with friends on social media and you know, save it locally uh, on my iPhone right there. At uh, the bottom you can see there are some uh, predefined colors which you can use or you can tap the um, um, color picker at the bottom right side and this will bring you, uh, you know, the option to choose any color you want uh, and you can use it. The only thing that I find a bit confusing is the controls. This is the one finger control but again it's a bit confusing to use. At least it was for me to rotate it to the exact position that I want it to be. Uh, but again it's nothing big but you know something maybe i would have preferred to be better maybe just to uh, uh lock it to one or two axes and that's it but maybe it isn't comfortable and because users want to access any part like they hold it in their hand right so you know, but it's, it's not a big problem anyway so you can see the other models i then choose the i think it is uh the car yeah i chose the car and i start coloring it um you have different models uh all you need to do is just to scan the surface and then tap on it and it will position the 3D models uh, on top of it. Just make sure that you put it on a, uh, you try it on a textured uh, area on ground uh, in a well lit environment so uh, it will work. Sometimes if you try it in low light uh, areas or on a surface that uh, doesn't have really a, a well defined uh, uh, texture you see that it sometimes can uh, miss and won't be able to spawn the 3D model on top of it. So as you can see, there are uh, uh, several models. The one marked with the crown, the, uh, um, the green crown, are not accessible for free. You need to uh, purchase a subscription in order to unlock uh, all of them. So we are choose uh, the cupcake, and as you can see, it is more segments, 13 segments for you to color. So you can actually just, uh, and again, it's very simple. It's not free drawing, uh, free painting, uh, by the way. So just keep this in mind. The only thing you need to do is just tap and it will automatically fill in the specific segment uh, and the other areas attached to it that uh, you tapped on. So this one turned out to be pretty nice, right? Look at this, very colorful, nice. And uh, what you can do, of course, is just take a picture of it uh, and then it's, uh, it's going to allow you to share it uh, again on social media. So this is it. This is uh, the cupcake. Now we say congratulations because I finished all the segments and then it allows me to take a picture. I take a picture, you just reposition it and then uh, I can share it, just save it locally. Uh, so here you can see the image in a second. So this is the image. It looks better because on the iPad, it just in the iMovie, it just moves it, but it looks better, of course, in full size. Now, the second app is ColorQuest in Art Adventure by Stay Healthy. Stay Healthy. Why Stay Healthy? Because this app, this coloring app, has an educational volume. And it's really nice. It has a progression system, which means that the kid needs to first uh, color the first uh, character and then continue to the next one. And there are some. Uh, um, uh, educational content displayed in plain English, very simple, and there's also some quizzes uh, in between characters. Uh, the thing is, the big difference here is that you can uh, you, here you don't paint in uh, 3D in augmented reality. You paint it like a standard uh, color painting book. Uh, uh, but but there's a big but here. Once you finish uh, or you decide that you are finished, you can actually view the character in 3D, in augmented reality, but you need to look at this, this is really, really cool. Uh, you know, you don't need to, uh, by the way, you can't rotate anything because it's 2D, 
it just painted the same thing at the back side and uh, after you finish you're just gonna see the character and it's going to make some cool dance moves and stuff and it's really really fun so I, I finished and then I just uh, I click the button uh, at the button and bottom at the button sorry and then um, it's gonna display it in augmented reality just scan the surface and just take a look Yeah, so this is it. This is a little educational value uh, uh, given to the user. And then it just dances. So cool. Now take a closer look. You can see that, the, by the way, right now I'm just moving, tapping and moving it from side to side. You can do this as well. You can see that the color matches uh, uh, perfectly to what, uh, how you colored the 2D model, right? So uh, you just color the painting and then it just uh, uh, put a texture uh, on top of the 3D model and it looks really really nice. Uh, as you can see at the back, it just uh, replicates some of the colors, you see, uh, put them in the back. Not some of the colors, just replicate the colors at the back. And um, what you can do now is just tap the camera button to take a photo. Or you can also record a video if you like and share it with your friends online. Yeah, this is just a part of the image, uh, uh, but of course, when you view it and share it with other people, you're gonna see it in a large size, full scale. All right, so as you can see, once I finish with the first character, I move on to the second character. And each character is uh, represents something, right? It can be a part in the body or um, uh, a fruit or something. And again, there's a snippet of an educational value attached to each one of them. Now the good part is that the, the painting part is very intuitive and it's something that kids you know are familiar with you know just just use their hand instead of using uh, you know another you know an item for for painting like a paintbrush or a pencil or something um, but the, there isn't the anticipation part they know that after they finish it this character is going to come alive in augmented reality in the real world so you actually won't really want to draw things, crazy things, because you know this character is going to come alive very, very soon uh, in your real world. And of course, that's what happens. And let's jump and see how this character looks in augmented reality. So again, another uh, basic information about this uh, fruit, and now we can benefit our it can benefit our health. I'm just moving it around and then I can just look at this, how beautiful, very humoristic, fun, uh, dancing moves. And again, yeah, the cool thing about it that each animation is different uh, between character and character. So again, the kid is excited to see what's uh, the next uh, fruit or body part uh, is going to do uh, after he or she finishes uh, the drawing part. So here's the final image. And then I move on to the next one. Hello. They're really, really cool. So again, you, by the way, you, there's no problem uh, just painting outside the area because uh, at the end, we're just gonna, uh, the 3D model is, is going to ignore anything you put outside of the segments, the areas that you need to paint into. Uh, so, you know, just, just paint whatever you like, feel free to do it and it's gonna look uh, great anyways uh, when you launch the 3D model in augmented reality. Here are just doing circles, you know, circles of colors because uh, I thought it's going to look great and just painting uh, with pink, the top part and the bottom part. So let's see how it looks in augmented reality. So here, another health fact. Um, really cool and look how it looks you see the pink uh, shoes and the leaf uh, ah, this looks amazing again a bit uh, different uh, dance moves and you can move it around and it looks really nice really smooth uh, animations I mean kids will love it I'm telling you kids will love it now if you want to continue and moving to the next character which is the lever uh, you need to uh, subscribe in order to 
unlock the other characters. So overall, I think this is this is a really cool app. I really like it. I'm telling you, give it to your kids. They're gonna love it. So between those two, uh, and they're kind of different, right? Uh, I prefer this one uh, because of the intuitive uh, drawing, uh, you know, um, on the screen, uh, which is just standard drawing, uh, with just uh, swiping with your finger, something that kids are already familiar with, with other apps. Uh, and combine it with uh, the augmented reality experience that makes both the previous experience, the standard experience more exciting because of the anticipation. And uh, it's really cool seeing those um, 3D characters come to life uh, in 3D in augmented reality afterwards with the same colors that you actually paint them, uh, paint the th uh, 2D model. So here you can see the quizzes that I talked about. You know, you get a quiz uh, and you get some uh, items you can unlock it's really cool it's really cool so which one you prefer it's up to you you can download them both both are free just keep in mind they are uh, in-app purchases so you actually limit to how far you can go with each app so this is it if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and i'm going to see you very soon on another video another review or amazing cool clips uh until then have fun bye guys bye bye